hello guys welcome back to this wonderful channel uh, we, we are back again to bring you news back to back uh, information reaching us today is that saying Kuti is now in the police net and um, police people has explained the reason why they had to handcuff Sion Kuti and what transpired at that scene. You know, many people did not understand what actually happened between Sion Kuti and the police people. Meanwhile, before I will bring you the full detail of that information, if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, please go ahead and hit the subscription button, the like button, share button, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first to collect it. Right, let's go down to the news proper. The Lagos State Police Command has revealed why it handcuffed Afrobeat singer Sin Kuti. Recall that Kuti, who is currently in police custody, was handcuffed and taken to the State Criminal Investigation and Intelligence Department, SCIID and panty for further investigation and possible prosecution. The Inspector General of Police, IGP Usman Alkali Baba, had ordered his arrest after he was captured on video assaulting a police officer in uniform on Third Men Inland Bridge. Some Nigerians has berated the police for putting him in handcuffs despite that he voluntarily surrendered himself. A concerned Nigeria on Twitter asked the Nigerian police public relations officer Olumujiwa Ade Jobi if the handcuff was necessary. But the police said it was standard procedure. At Ajinobi Moto wrote, was the handcuff necessary and why collect his shoe, MPF Sha? Ade Jobi responded. It seems you are not familiar with detention. With this question anyway, it is a normal procedure before detention. My people now don't see us if they happen waiting the shell uh, between Sienkuti and the police. Uh, because, uh, you know, uh, no man is above the law. And sometimes some um, people uh, usually take it beyond uh, the necessary boundaries because maybe they felt that... Uh, uh, some kind of immunity is covering them, one immunity or the other is covering them. But as the case may be for security, who was seen uh, in a video molesting a police personnel in uniform, of course, you know that a policeman on the road was not just sent uh, by himself. Uh, if a policeman or any officer of the law is putting on their uniform and they are on the road uh, as, uh, doing their duty, it means that they are representing the federal government of Nigeria and whatever action you take against these people, you are taking it against the federal government of Nigeria. And I, I thought that uh, Suinkuti uh, is an educated individual who is supposed to know the code of conduct and the order of the nation. Unlike Fela, his father, who is very uh, intelligent and learned, uh, Fela in his music was only against uh, bad politicians. And bad governance in Nigeria and he has never in the history of Nigeria reacted in such manner he has always been on the path of the law you know his songs was always on you know defending the poor defending the masses and also talking about bad governance and what is happening in Nigeria and most of the times fellow was against you know many of the things that the government are doing and also he was also talking about uh, the uh, the white people who introduced democracy uh, to the africans and yet with that democracy they are exploiting the africans which you know that is uh, very wrong so that was what a uh, fella was singing for uh, but seeing kuti seeing himself as a descendant of fella kuti and decided to ask act against the law that is very abnormal and of course you can see that he is facing uh, the law now this is the consequences of of what he had done so now uh, i think um, other people will learn from um saying kuti's uh, uh, lesson uh, what is going on uh, you know what happened to the other lady the other time um uh, this uh, blogger known as um uh I think um, CEO Blessing, CEO, who also thought that she was against the law and at the end of everything, uh, she paid for her comments. 
and she was uh, charged for deformation of character and the rest of them. So I think um, people should mind how they treat people because no one is above the law. Now I'm saying Kuti is saying that the, the police officer in question that he slapped was trying to kill him. Now look at this one. The granny nominated Afrobeat artist Sin Kuti has revealed why he slapped a police officer in a recent Vera video reported that the Afrobeat Krona was captured in a viral video assaulting a police operative on duty. Reacting via his Insta3 on Saturday, Kuti said the officer attempted to kill him and his family members. He said the policeman has apologized and he has forgiven him. He warned those saying he was chasing cloth to mind their business and not to let the police officer lose his job. Kuti wrote, they tried to kill me and my family. I have the proof, but I know the chase cloud. He has apologized and I have agreed to press charges. Make una mind una business. Make the poor guy no losing job. This is coming from Sinkuti's um, official Instagram handle where he posted what transpired between him and the policeman uh, that the policeman was, was actually uh, trying to kill him. That, that, is, that was the reason why he reacted and um, that people should mind their business and shut up their mouth uh, so that the policeman will not lose his job. And that is what is currently happening now. But as it stands now, the information reaching us is that Siyun Kuti is still in the police detention where uh, some investigations are being carried out. Of course, you know that this is a big allegation. Uh, for Kuti to say that the policeman was trying to kill him, of course, you know that the police will actually investigate into this matter to be able to ascertain if truly the policeman was actually trying to kill Sinkuti or that he is putting allegation on the policeman. Uh, but uh, I think um, the video on the scene is evidence. Meanwhile, somebody else might still say that... Um, uh, the, maybe the person who took the video uh, just uh, appeared on the scene uh, while Sin Kuti was slapping the policeman uh, but he was not there before what transpired. Maybe that could be the case. And um, also Sin Kuti's lawyer has also come into the picture, you know, trying to uh, defend his clients. Of course, he's a lawyer. He will do his best uh, to make sure that um, his client is released. But uh, Kuti should also note that uh, this is a federal matter because whenever you you bring an issue that concerns uh, uh, the, the police i think it's a federal matter and also i want to applaud the the police ig because recently he has been taking some serious actions against some police people who are molesting uh, who are molesting uh, 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 civilians uh, because now uh, report there are some reports that has reached to us that recently police people have been molesting civilians and the police IG has also taken that in, into consideration. Uh, there was a video the other time that trended where some officers was reduced from their rank and some was also uh, relieved of their work because of molesting uh, civilians that are going about their businesses. So uh, the IG of police of Nigeria should also be applauded uh, for doing a nice and wonderful work uh, recently and i believe that um since the the, the, the citizens has also decided that the law uh, should take its effect on anyone that offends whether you are a police officer or maybe you are a, a civilian so i think um what is going to happen now is that uh, the, the the police and also the federal government will do their best to make sure to see who is wrong and also who is right in this case that concerns Sinkuti. I believe that uh, the police force are not going to take it lightly. And I pray that the law will take a due course. According to Sinkuti, he said that after a uh, investigation that whosoever is on the wrong side of the law should be indicted for that. So let's wait and see what is going to become the, the outcome of the case, whether the police is on the wrong side of the law or whether Siyunkuti is on the wrong side of the law. Of course, he has said um, that um, uh, he was he, the policeman was trying to kill him. And this one is coming from uh, Sheu Sani, a, a, a senator of Nigeria. He said, uh, former federal lawmaker Sheu Sani, has reacted to the arrest of appropriate singer Sinkuti, who is currently in police custody. 
has been handcuffed and taken to the State Criminal Investigation and Intelligence Department, SCIID, in Panty for further investigation and possible detention. Record that Inspector General of Police, IGP, Usman Alakale Baba, ordered Kutit arrest after his altercation with a police officer on the Third Man Inland Bridge a few days ago. Kuti was captured on video assaulting police officer in uniform. Reacting to the development, Sani, in a tweet via his handle on Monday, said there was no need to handcuff Kuti, who voluntarily surrendered himself. He tweeted, even though I have been handcuffed for many years, there is no reason to handcuff Sion, who had voluntarily surrendered himself. So now, Senator Sani is saying that um, uh, handcuffing Kuti uh, there is no need for that since he himself has voluntarily surrendered himself. Meanwhile, I will be winding down the cutting here. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, uh, please go ahead and hit the subscription button, the like button, share button. And also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news is dropping, you will be the first to collect it. Thank you for listening. God bless you.